Okay, here we have x raised to y is equal to y raised to x. Now, here we have an interesting example x raised to y is y raised to x. So, we go back to what? Yes, logarithmic function because here you have a variable raised to a variable, variable raised to a variable. So, you take it as log x to the taking logarithms on both sides. Now, this will now become y log x is equal to x log y. Next, what do we do? We use the product rule on both sides. So, it will be y into derivative of log x that is x plus log x into derivative of y that is dy by dx and here x into derivative of y that is 1 by y into dy by dx because we use the chain rule here then plus log y into derivative of x that is 1. So collect now all the log terms together either this way or this way so we get suppose we take it this way so dy by dx into log x minus x by y and this side you have log y minus y by x. So hence dy by dx is equal to x log y minus y upon x divided by y log x minus x the whole upon y. So, this is eventually y goes to the top. So, y into x log y minus y upon x is in the denominator x into y log x minus x and this is the option. So, we have y into x log y minus y x into y log x. So, it's going to be option number c. So, yes, I'm sure it should be. All right, fine. Then we have this now E. Okay, we have E raised to x raised to x. Now this is y. Okay, so how do we do this? So again, dy by dx. Now this is exactly a more of a chain rule. So it will be d by dx of e raised to x raised to x. So x raised to x. Then d by dx of x raised to x. Now this we already done. We take u as x raised to x. So log u is equal to x log x. So, 1 by y dy by dx is equal to x into derivative of log x x plus log x into derivative 1. So, dy by dx in this case du by dx suppose we take this as du. du by dx is going to be y that is x raised to x into 1 plus log x. So, this will turn out to be e raised to x raised to x into x raised to x into 1 plus log x. So, among these it is of course the option number C. It is actually e raised to x raised to x. It should be e raised to x raised to x. 1 plus log x into x raised to x. So, this is our right answer. Okay, let's check. Yes, it's correct. Of course, as I told you, this should be e raised to x raised to x. Okay, so what we have next is function of x and y. So, an implicit function, we write it as x comma y because uh, both of them are variable. Okay, so you need to find this. So, in that case, we have x cube plus y cube minus axy is equal to 0, we need to find the derivative, so this would be 3x square plus 3y square dy by dx minus 3a can become a common factor, we get x into dy by dx plus y into d by dx of x, that is y is 0. We can divide 4 by 3 and we get x square 
plus y square divided by dx minus ax divided by dx minus ay is 0. So if you take divided by dx as a common factor, you get y square minus ax and this side we have ay minus x square. So divided by dx would be ay minus x square upon y square minus ax. So we have this ay minus x square upon y square minus ax so is option number b. So this is how we can find this, right? We have it that way. <coughs> okay, now here we have one more thing. You have x raised to y into y raised to x is n, where n is constant, then we have by dx. Now then, we have x raised to y, y raised to x. We take it as is equal to m. We take logarithm on both sides because again it's a case of variable raised to the power of a variable is equal to log m. We skip one step, this will be log x raised to y, this is y log x plus log y raised to x, that is x log y and this is log m. Now log m is a constant in any case. Taking the derivative on both sides, differentiating with respect to x, you get y into differential of x, that is x plus log x into d by dx of y, that is d by by dx plus x y x by y into d by by dx plus log y into d by dx of x which is 1 and derivative of the function is 0. So we get d by by dx into if you take these two together y log x plus x upon y is equal to minus log y minus y by x. So this will turn out to be dy by dx is equal to minus of x log y minus y upon x divided by this. This is y log x plus log x plus x divided by y. It will become y and hence we get this. So it will be minus y into x log y plus y upon x into y log x plus x. So we have plus x log y and x into y log x that is option number b. So we have minus y into y plus x log y and x into y log x plus x. So it's option number b.